not just my thinking. It is so. <laughs> and uh, why are you so certain? I'm not blind, Fred. All the four years we spent in the higher institution. I've toured around the whole country, doing long vacations and at other times. Kaduna, Kano, Abuja, Potakot, Owero, Mwahia, including when we were schooled. So, <laughs> what did you see? Same thing. Mm. Same thing. Oh? Yeah, the same lifestyle, the same attitude, whether one worships the Bible or the Quran. <laughs> what is the lifestyle? The general lifestyle of every Nigerian. Indeed, every other being tends towards one common attitude. Attitude? Go ahead, what attitude could that be? Attitude towards money, riches, wealth. Go on, go on, talk, I'm listening, go on. <laughs> now you're about to receive the best education you ever got in the classroom. Mm. Oh boy, that thing goes for nothing. <laughs> no, but you know something? You never see an opening without doing a good punch. That way you keep your head above water. <laughs> so, you're going to buy me a beer, I'll give you more education. That's right. But go ahead, I'll It's not bribing. <laughs> it's using what you have to get what you want. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, Norbert, this is a beer. Okay? But I want you to understand that uh, beer does not come easy these days, especially when you wear this attire. <laughs> so, <laughs> Don't worry, sir. By the time I'm half through, you buy me another bottle. Well, I'm listening. Now go ahead. Talk. Talk to me. Do you know money is the ointment that lubricates every engine part of life? Mm. I've heard about this before. Somebody has actually told me this, but I can't remember who. Whoever told you that was not exaggerated. Now listen to me. That's exactly what I'm here to do. So tell me. Talk to me. Do you know money is a sixth sense that helps you enjoy the other five? You're just telling me now. <laughs> and I'll tell you again, with a full pass, you'll be short of friends. Uh, no, but wait, wait, let me understand something. Why this sudden obsession about money and riches? <laughs> because I have witnessed from afar the influence money wields and I want to be part of it. So, uh, do you just become part of it by mere showing interest? Or is there any other thing? Um, not actually. But every of its principles starts with a desire. That's what I've developed all these years We are in IMT leveling for a banking certificate. That is true. You're very correct. But again, did the person that told you this also tell you that money can't buy happiness? Oh, certainly. Only the rich say that. That means you certainly must have been thinking about this all this while, haven't you? Understatement. I have been living in the real instance of making real money. You see, to develop the clever instincts of making plenty of money, you must have some element of stupidity towards it. That's what Pablo Picasso said. <laughs> I can see you're very serious about this. Say that again, and it will be my turn to buy you another bottle. I will say it again before you can buy me. I know that. I have heard you talk so much about this money, 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 money. But what I still can't understand is this is your sudden obsession about money. But I want you to realize something. That no matter how you look at it, you need a job in the bank first. And that is the only way you can stay close to money. Wrong. The same money you're talking about. Wrong. Wrong? How do you know wrong? When I talk about staying close to money, I'm not talking about staying close to other people's money. Neither am I talking about counting other people's money. If I count money, I'll be counting mine. Whichever way you look at it, you still need a job first. So I'll be game. I'm not going to work for anybody. You mean you're not working for anybody? Not me. You can't get me to working for someone else. Are you forgetting you're a banker? So what? Because the banking profession is the envy of every young man in this country today. Fred, As you speak. Fred, in IMT alone, hmm. how many of us 
who read Banker and graduated with us? Well, uh, I think he could have. Don't resolved. think. It's 157. Fred, 157 from IMT alone. You've not talked about your neck, a suit, anywhere known. Don't think about your life in Lagos, Lasso, Laspotec. I mean, how do you cope with that kind of competition? So tell me, what do you intend to do? Private business, straight. Private business? <laughs> no, but don't tell me you're scared of competition, are you? I am not scared of any competition. All I'm saying is that if you want to make money, and I mean real money, you can't count other people's money. Unless... Unless what? Unless you intend to steal from them. I'm not going to live the rest of my life serving other people. Money is the beginning and end of any worship. You have enough money, you're rich and you're part of the living. You don't have it, you're part of the existing. Stop making excuses, okay? <laughs> and stop encouraging yourself. Because whichever way you look at it, once you die, it's six feet. Six feet? Below the earth's surface. That's yes, what yes, six feet. But I tell you one thing, it's better you're rich. Because when you're rich and you die, you'll be remembered forever. But you don't have money, you die, you're forgotten the same day. Okay, tell me. Tell me. Which plans do you have for yourself? When I take off this uniform, I'm going straight to Lagos and I'm moving into private business. Of course. You've been saying that you want to go into private business. And I know that. The question is, which business are you going to go into? Any business that rolls in money, and I mean big money, so that when I die, the obituary will read, with gratitude to God for a life well spent, and not with total submission to the will of God, we regret on us now, Fred. <laughs> There's not going to be any regret, because I'm going to make money, and I'm going to live for generations. Why did you say that? <laughs> With gratitude to God for a life well spent. Because I'm going to leave money. That means you left money. Yes. And not. <laughs> With total submission to the will of God, we regret our nows. No, no, that means you didn't leave money. <laughs> <laughs> the families of this regret our now. Mama, eh, every other person got just one certificate. I got all this. Eh? Hey, all these certificates for you, eh? Um, for my children. <coughs> This one is from uh, the state uh, cultural uh, troop. Mm -hmm. This one is from the director of NYC, uh, recognition for merit. Okay? Then, this third one is from the debate and the training club. So, it means you were there. Everywhere. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> yeah? So, you got four certificates. Uh, Why the other has got just one? Uh, you see, Mama, oh, these are God. all just my papers. So. Right. The most important thing now is for me to get a job and take good care of you. Look, anyone that is able to pick up all these certificates, uh, can you only pick up a good job? <laughs> eh? It's a good job to be able to take good care of you, Mama. <laughs> I know. I know. So, Mama, uh, I'll leave tomorrow. Echenka. Mm, tomorrow. tomorrow, yes. Hey. Ah, isn't it too early? Eh? Yeah. Won't you rest? Mama, rest. Yes. Rest. How can a man rest? A man who has the sole responsibility to take care of his mother, who did everything, contributed everything, sold even to the last rapper to see his son through university. My mother will not rest now. I, know, my dear. I have to go there, get a job, so I'll be able to take good care of you. It's now my turn to take care of you. Uh, that doesn't <laughs> come again, no, I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, I have to go. <laughs> oh, gee, oh, no. <laughs> See what I was telling you. See what I was telling you. All those people tripping in and out of that place. Huh? With those beautiful girls. A lot of them don't spend their own money. How do you know? 
Most of these guys are job men. Baka. Baka. Do you know anybody here? You don't need to know any one of them to know what goes on in this country. There are job men everywhere. Baka, never mind. I am very sure that as soon as we find jobs and begin to make money, we will have the right to go in there, isn't it? Of course we have the right to go there. But I tell you one thing, and check it for me, there is no job out there for the average graduate. Alright? Who is thinking about deceiving himself of living a conscientious life? Oh, come on. Fredo, listen. These old men have hijacked all the jobs. They've shared the national cake. Leaving nothing for unlucky ones like us. Nothing. I think what you've said is true. I think I agree with you there. <laughs> agree with me all the way and let's face this social war head on. Social war? Of course. What do you mean sure, social war? Sure, sure. The battle to cross over the borderline which demarcates the rich and the poor is a social line. I don't understand you. From this very minute, I won't waste a second looking for jobs that are not there. We will emulate one number man called Javez. Who's Javez? In the Bible, the man got tired of suffering, stood and challenged poverty and changed his fortune. But I've never heard of a man called Javez. Hey man, read the holy books. He later became a senator. Are you quoting the Bible or you're adding to it? Never mind the quotations. Just grab the message. Dust your pants. Grab your future in your own hands. Don't waste your precious time looking for jobs that are not there. There are no jobs out there. You know why I'm telling you all this? Because you're my friend, my very good friend. I don't want to leave you behind when I cross over to the other side. Secondly, you have a mother, a very precious mother. I mean, she became a widow without your father. She trained you in the university. What are you going to tell her? Don't worry, don't Just pack that car. Listen, Baka. You see, once we finish service, I plan to build my mom a very big house. Yes. Breaking your neck because of that girl. You are an idiot. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah? Can't you see the girl is beautiful? <laughs> Look at the ways and everything. Exactly the message I'm trying to shoot down your neck. What message? You cannot retreat when you see a girl like that. Can't you see that she's with someone? Otherwise, I would have called her. The only reason why that girl cannot follow you is because she knows you can't pay her bill. How do you know? After all, your son, your someday your son, I will. Okay? I, are I you will. certain of that day? Setting. After I've been writing applications, and I know very soon I'm going to get a job. And once I get a job, I'm going to make money. <laughs> and once I make money, I can afford any girl I want. <laughs> Chagacha! Believe that is a part of paying all your bills. Believe nothing. See, the country economic climate, the fact that hard work pays nothing in this country, and the few lazy bones around pick up all the things means that we have to take on our destinies in our own hands. But talk, talk like a civil man. No, I'm talking like a civil man. Listen, let me tell you something. In as much as we understand that there are social imbalances here and there, it happens everywhere in the world. Even the self-styled God's own country, America, it happens there. But at the same time, I want you to understand that there are good and conscientious men who work very hard to make money. Mm. All right? They make money pay their bills and still live very good lives. I tell you what, that your axiom, or rather utopia, will end you in luxury or poverty. The rich political criminal still gets the front seat in the church. He's your elder, he's your deacon. Baka, forget that thing, it happens everywhere, man. Look, listen, listen to me. All in every, it happens no, everywhere. Yes, yes, let me tell you one thing. The industrious banker sits all day in the bank counting other people's money. The baker bakes all his life and may not even have bread to eat. The teacher
teaches the children of the mighty and risks his own children, ending up poor. What happens to the lawyer? He sits with all his intelligence, with all his craft, defends a criminal for misappropriation and money laundering. The criminal sits in the dock, planning other deals. Listen, Robert, let me tell no, you. No, you hold on, you hold on. I haven't finished. Robert, you hold Check on. Check out, I haven't finished. Mark, are you hold on? You've been talking. Hold on. Hold on. Are you the only one that has my book talk? And let me talk. You see, let me tell you something. This ideal situation you're talking about only end you up in some kind of disaster. The only disaster in life facing men is poverty. Defeat poverty, you go to heaven. My eleventh commandment reads, Thou shalt be rich. Thou shalt what? Thou shalt be rich. Follow it and you'll be rich. Is there the eleventh commandment? That's it, for me. Are you out of your mind? How could you? Fred! Yes? Why would you put us in this kind of tight corner? Fred, are you saying it's my fault? So whose fault is it then? Fred, a woman could do anything other than get herself pregnant. And the same woman could take precautions. How many times now? How many times did that insist on condom? How many times? Oh, are you not passing it to my table? Oh, so whose table do you want it to come to? Mine? Mine? I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. So what do we do? How do I know? What are you going to do about what? Nothing, man. Nothing. Nothing? Yes, ma'am. I thought I heard raised voices. Um, certainly, mama. But, um, uh, we were discussing about my trip to Lagos. The people don't discuss by, by shouting at each other. The point I was trying to make her understand it, and that was nothing. Mama Zikwa. Oh, if you say so. I better think of what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know. This is a very serious situation. What do you mean? I honestly do not know. I won't go for any abortion. I'm not asking you to go for an abortion. Okay? Not with this issue of childlessness here and there. I'll be stupid to ask you to do that. So, so what do I tell my parents now? Exactly my worry. I don't know how to approach your father. It won't be easy. He will practically skin me alive. If only I had a job. You don't need a job to tell my father that you put his daughter in the family room. But I sure do need a job to tell your father that I want to start my own family with his daughter. How do you know? You see, honey, we've been lovers all the way back in school. I have never really thought about this. But I think the baby is pushing me to do it. Don't you think it would be very appropriate if we got married? Marriage? Yes, marriage. Or do you want to have a baby for your father? How can? The mess up getting married. Um, yes, um, but... but what? You don't have a job. I don't either. That's my regret. But there's no two ways about it. Sweetheart, we must get married. I know I love you well enough to want to spend the rest of my life with you. Except you otherwise wish. Of course, of course, you know that I've always wished that. Then if you do, we must then rise up to it. 
we have to tell our parents of our intentions. No matter how hard it might sound to them. From what you're saying, young man, it's like you're asking for my brother that in my life. Oh, yes, that's what I'm here to do, sir. Have you gotten that concern? I mean, her permission first? Uh, yes, I have, sir. Fred, does a mother know you were here? Yes, sir. And what was her reaction? I don't understand you, sir. How happy or otherwise is she on hearing that the son is going to get married shortly? You mean if she's given her consent? Oh, yes, she has. You see, someone can give you her conscience without being happy about it. Don't you think so? I don't quite follow you, sir. Well, as a matter of fact, young man, I really don't have anything against you. My duty as a father is to grant my daughter's wish. She has told me in confidence that she wants to spend the rest of her life with you. I also wish so, sir, and that's why I'm here. Good, but the issue of question goes far, far beyond my wishes. I don't understand you. Living together as another wife is a different ball game from courtship. I know that, sir. And um, when a woman leaves her father's house to live with her life partner, she automatically becomes the complete responsibility of the husband. You're absolutely correct, sir. And I'm also aware that you are neither employed nor she. Yes, we're not. But we're optimistic that uh, very soon we'll get a job. Why not? So, you've courted my daughter for four years. One, two, three, four years. When it's already hard enough. Daddy, I am a woman. Shut up! Shh. Young man. You can't survive it. But if you, if you get married now, your preoccupation must be in finding a job. Yes! Find a job first. Settle down. Then get a house. I mean, a residence of your own. Instead of pestering your mother on a daily basis, inconveniencing her. Really, sir, it's actually... There is nothing more to say, young man. She's there, my daughter. She's just going to ask him. All you need to do is to go get yourself a job to be able to convince me of my consent. That's the only way out. Marriage to survive when both of you do not have a job. Rose, I thought you were smarter than this. And as for you, Fred, let me tell you something. It's not my daughter's life you're going to gamble with. If you want to marry her, you go out there, get yourself a job. Then you can come back and ask for her hand in marriage. Excuse me. What are we going to do? I honestly do not know. Please come by me. Sit down. Thank you, sir. Yes, I invited you. So, how is life with you? Fine, thank you, sir. Good. Fred, I'd like you 
I mean, I couldn't have asked for more in personality for a son-in-law. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. But you see, a world without women would have been the perfect world. I have been in this marriage game for 30 years or thereabouts. And I tell you, it's no fun. Whenever a woman is involved, game rules change. I know that, sir. I know. Good. But what you may not know is that even the best of women can degenerate into something sinister. If the husband has no wherewithal to feed, clothe, or take care of her generally. I know I will take good care of my family. Good. You are starting badly. Very badly, I must confess. No man succeeds with such game plan like getting married before a job. It's usually the other way around. Okay? And take this piece of advice home. Never you borrow money to get married. Because the same person wouldn't lend you again to feed your wife. But sir, I do not intend to borrow. You haven't convinced me, friends. You have not. I won't let you into the wrong idea that you married the wrong woman by letting you have my daughter. Not at all. For your own good, and from one man to another, well, kind of take a take. Try get a job. Work for three years, make some money, and then come back. Three years? Yes. Then we would look at the comfort, I mean, to know if you are really ready for marriage. Sir, things would have gone very wrong then. That's why you got it all wrong. Nothing would have gone wrong. Nothing. Absolutely. I know my daughter. She's everything her mother. We caught it for eight years, you know, before we got married. This is a different case. And I'm sure you're speaking the way you you are because you don't understand. This case is open and closed. do not solve problems. Rather, they increase them. You don't understand, Mom. You don't. Let me tell you something. The first rule about marriage is grow up. Then you get married. When do I grow up? At 80? Not necessarily. Mom, for God's sake, I am 25. I am 25, Mom? How old were you when you got married to daddy? I am not talking about biological growth here. Rather, I am talking about mental and financial growth. I am a graduate, mom! A graduate without a job. I will find one. Oh, oh. I didn't know it. So what are we waiting for? Relax, mom. Mom, relax. Oh, let me tell you, my dear. You are not the issue here. Rather, Fred is. I've always thought you liked Fred. Oh, come on. Now I know better. I have nothing against Fred. Okay? I don't believe you, Mom. The other day you screamed at him, Mom. You screamed at him. All for the sake of my only daughter. I don't believe you. It's all for your selfish interest. What? Yes. You don't like Fred because he has not bought you Hollanders or showered you with money as a prelude to her asking for my hand in marriage. Come on! Your father is a successful businessman. 
and it takes care of my every need. And I can't believe you accused me of all those stupid intentions. Anyway, for your information, this marriage will not hold. Why? You people cannot live on thin air. How many times do I have to tell you that? Now you still think I am a baby, right? So what do you expect me to call you? A baby! In the face of this senseless proposed marriage of yours. Senseless? Of course that is what it is. Now tell, look at me, don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying Fred is not a good choice as a husband. But both of you are not doing anything. And for your information, we do not intend to take care of you after your marriage. Period. For God's sake, Lord, we do not need your help. Oh, we do not need your help. Easier said than done, my dear. Mom, I'm pregnant. What? Pregnant? As in carrying a baby? Pregnant as in P-R-E-G-N-A-N-T. Pregnant! That reminds me, you promised you were going to Starcom's company today for the phone. Um, I couldn't get that tone when I tried many ago. I couldn't make it. I see. Um, honey? Yes. This marriage thing between Fred and Rose, don't you think we should, um, you know, we should give them our consent? Why this sudden change in the loyalty, if I'm asked? Well, you know, the way they've been going on, as if their destinies are tied together. I was wondering, you know, you never know. Maybe when they get married, there'll be loads of opportunities coming their way. And what has it given you, if I may ask? Who? Fred, of course. What has it given you to tow this mosaic line? He has not given me anything. Rather, he has given Rose. And what did she give you, if I ask? Well, what he gave her cannot be shared, actually. Rose is pregnant. Who did Moses? Did I hear you right? What? Uh, but I've always believed both of you were responsible. We are, sir. Shut up. How can you call yourself a responsible man when you have put my daughter in the family way? No same person does that before marriage. I know, sir. So why the blunder? Sir, Rose and I have been lovers. Then you have to become sinners too? No, sir. For, for four years now we've been cutting. And you know that four years is not four days, sir. Oh, shut So that gives you license on the chief? Not exactly. But at the same time, we're no, we no saints. I'm not a reverend father. And she's not a Catholic. No, either. Shut up! What do you know about Catholic? Sir, it is our fear of God, humanity and respect for posterity that is forcing us into this curse. We are both consenting adults and graduates at that. Our mates fear the doctor's hidden fears for abortions on a daily basis. So why didn't you do uh, No, sir. We couldn't do that for our, for our fear of the matrimonial sin. We both do not want a child outside the wedlock. And I'm sure you and Madam wouldn't want that either. We made a mistake already, sir. We're human beings. But we must not live and die in our mistake. All we're asking of you, sir, is to just give us the go ahead and watch us. I'm sure the good Lord will make a way for us. Have you 
forgotten where you come from. How can I, Mama? Huh? What's bringing about this? Why bring this shame? This ungodly act. Shame? Yes, yeah, shame. Ungodly, irresponsible for ever's sake. Eh? You forgot how I brought you up. Eh? Have you forgotten the yearning gap between the rich and the poor? Mama, is that why you came to wake me up? Yes. Mama, I expect you to support me. And not tell me what you're telling me now. Support you? How can I support the evil? Evil? Yes. Okay, if you don't support evil, why don't you support the evildoer? Correct him. Teach him. Afuma, you're beyond redemption. Since you threw your moral code to the dogs. You came home with four certificates. One, two, three, four. You showed me three. And you hid one from me. Eh? Afuma, you, you promised you were going to take care of me. Eh? You said you would take care of your mother. Well, I know better. Mama, you call me evil, is it? You call me evil. I am the devil. I am Lucifer himself. Because I impregnated a girl that I love makes me evil, isn't it, Mama? That I want to settle down and live up to my responsibilities as a man makes me evil, isn't it, Mama? Mama, I'm asking you, I am now evil. That I have refused to do what my fellow young boys do. Shedding innocent blood through abortion makes me evil, isn't it? Mama, that I want to bring you a daughter-in-law makes me evil. Mama, that I want to give you a grandchild Stop. makes me evil. Mama, I am evil. Stop. I am evil. Stop. I am evil, Mama. You're breaking my heart. Stop. Stop. Misunderstood me, and that's why he's mad at me. For crying out loud, Rose, you're his only daughter. Both of us are, what am I saying? Me in particular, I do not have a job. Besides, I come from a poor family. Oh, Fred, Fred. But it's true. It's very true. Look at it. Now tell me, Rose, how many rich men are willing to give out a daughter in marriage to a poor man? Nobody. But my father is different. I hear you. That's said out of here. Your father would be very willing to throw me to the police cell anytime. Not my father. Listen, Fred. Your ability and boldness to face the challenges as a man is under test, okay? Don't recall under his seeming vehemence. The most important thing is that I've made it clear it's your baby. And it stays. Like my everyday son remains, Fred is the one. Why are you making me do this? Alright? Okay. I'll see you again. Okay. If it means being locked up, mm. so be it. Oh. <laughs> After all, uh, Romeo died for Juliet. Huh? <laughs> Juliet also died for Romeo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good day, Fred. To sit down. Yes, for the second time in three days, I'm inviting you to my office. You see, as a knight of Mr. Mulumba, what you do with my daughter is enough to excommunicate me from the church. And at my age, that would be as painful as death. I'm sorry, sir. Please forgive me, sir. Well, it's all right. I'm through with the shop. Unable to weigh the entire situation from a different perspective. 
thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Don't thank me yet, Fred. You see, I don't believe in worshiping man. I worship God. I know that you can hurry, marry, and wed my daughter without anybody knowing that she's pregnant. But God knows. And that to me makes a whole lot of difference. So right away, I'm excommunicating myself from the church until your wedding day. Are you saying Rose is my only child? And I wouldn't want her to go through the trauma of the what I have to do to save myself from the church. That is my just only that. Oh, please, sir. Oh, please, sir. Please. I will, I will give you the go ahead. You don't need any ceremony or visiting my house severally with elders. You don't need all that. All you need is just a few people, not exceeding four, including your mother. Sir, what do you mean? Your bride price should not exceed. 500 naira, and I give my daughter. But you must do something for me immediately. That is, arrange a wedding by which I mean the priest's blessing and joining your hands in exalted sacrament of matrimony. Thereafter, you can come for your ceremonies after her delivery. Thank you very much, sir. Thank get you up, very get much. up, thank you very much, sir. Get up. Um, from today, I take you as the son I never had. And while you are going through that, the chairman of the bank is my good friend. He called to inform me that he has a slot for new employees and he actually reserved that uh, for my daughter. I wasn't interested you know, because I need, I wanted my daughter to pick any job, I mean any job on merit. But right now I can't tell that I'm lying in love with any circumstances. But uh, sir, this is all about... Uh... I have always emphasized that a man should call the shots for a marriage to hold. Yes. Yes. And um, I can't give you my daughter now that you're not employed. You have to give yourself a job to support her and for her to give you her full respect. And thereafter, she too can find a job. But, sir, are you not misunderstanding your daughter Rose? I mean, in terms of reliability and complete homeliness. My dear young man, I have been in this marriage business for three decades. One thing you should learn is that you should not allow your wife to ever catch you napping. Go to the bank with that later and get a job. I mean, if you got the job, take your time. When you're comfortable, it could be in three years. Come back for the proper white card. Oh my God. Can the people like this still exist? From today, like I said, you are my son. Thank you very much, Daddy. It's my pleasure, son. You're welcome. Now, 
Is it another rose? Oh, rose. Rose. Uh, Why? Did they eject them from their house? Oh, no, Mama. I want to bring her in here to live with her as my wife. As whom you? Wife. 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 Yes. You see, Mama, it might surprise you to know eh, that uh, uh, the person God used to give me the job, her father, has given his consent. Sir, honestly, I don't know where to start. Is it that you accepted us as your in-laws or that you gave us job at this hard time? Hmm? Sir, my heart is so full of joy that my mouth cannot express it. Please, sir, accept this token as a little way of showing appreciation. <laughs> Thank you. Fred, you mean you went and brought a mother to come and find me? What have I done that men have not done for others? Sir, but yours is exceptional. I, I mean, who am I uh, to be found anywhere close to a man like you? Mother and I are really very appreciative of everything you've done for us. Mm -hmm. Mommy, thank you very much. You're welcome. But really, it's nothing. Ah, it's something. <laughs> it's a very big thing. Yeah, well, I guess the only thing we can do here is support the couple. They believe their destinies are tied together, so. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. well, Mother, you see, you have a very formidable son. Very formidable. Um, all he requires is just a push, and it's there. Thank you very much, sir. I am very happy that my son led me to this wonderful family. May God reward you accordingly. So we have to run along so that we can arrange for the bride prize and uh, the wedding as you directed. Okay, uh, there's still time. Hey, well, suit yourself. And uh, the important thing, as far as I am concerned, as my wife is concerned, the important thing is that um, they are happy. That's the bottom line. Their happiness is our happiness. to a new residence. New <laughs> Hi! Yes, um, take care of my daughter and your mother. I got with you. Oh, God. Oh, God. My daughter. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you're welcome. you. Eh? Yeah. Uh. Yes. Thank you very much, Daddy. Thank you very much. Mommy? It's actually nothing to make much fuss about, you know. Now that you are a bona fide member of my family, and the story obviously has to change. Old things are passed away. Now new things are here, and we just have to enjoy them. I am actually shocked and overwhelmed about you. But that's okay. There is nothing we do for you that is uh, too much, as a matter of fact. Yes. May God reward you in the most appropriate way. Amen. Amen. Mommy. Amen. Thank Amen. you very much. Um, mommy and Daddy, you kept all this away from me. Give scissors to be one, if not shrouded in surprise. Oh, Daddy, yeah. thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, Mommy. <laughs> thank you, girl. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> 
Oh, Mommy, Daddy, you're the best friends in the whole world. <laughs> Indeed, the um, very best. <laughs> my mom, what's the problem? Memories. Huh? Memories. I wish first father had been here today to witness all this. Eh? It's okay, <laughs> my own love. It's okay. Eh? Let's not think about that now, okay? It's a happy moment. Give me a smile. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, oh my. <laughs> well, my in-law, he's not. The best you can do to represent him is by continuously giving out good advice to your son and uh, daughter at all times. You know. You're indeed God sent. I think your son, he is God sent. In fact, he's a wonderful young man. That's why I have always believed in him. So let's go. <laughs> For your ignorance. <laughs> okay. For your information and your consumption and your education. He is a cheer. A kupawari we. Dum, dum, dum. A gune chi. And he decides to have a word with you. And sir, I was just hoping from the other side. Today is your lucky day. Yes, a gune chi. We'll take you home. 
I would rather walk in. After your information, I am going against this thing. So where is she? I'm going to check She's obviously new in this town. Ah. Moreover, she's born again. Do. Born again or no born again? No, boy, boy, boy. But they say you have PhD in matters like this. Uh, I'm going to check you know, every day is not a Christmas. Christmas or no Christmas, eh? You must find out about that baby. She can't escape me. Where's Agula Chibo? No, you won't go on. Consider it done, Agula Chibo. Agula Chibo, come on, let's get out. Agula Chibo, come on, Ben. It must be done. Agula Chibo, I don't mind. Oh, baby, I'm going to see you. It's only in the city, I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you. This one, you are here at this time, Chief. Well, Pastor, whenever I go to bed with this big problem, I wake up in search of a solution. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once a problem comes into this place, it disappears. Exactly why I came. So what is your problem? Uh, Pastor, there is a new girl in this complication. Uh, by name Grace. I'm sure you have even noticed her. I mean, you know, um, so, you know, it is impossible for any man not to notice our succulent plate. <laughs> are you sure we are sending the same message? By his grace. By his grace. So this grace, I want her. You want her? Oh, yes. You know, Pastor, this church needs to grow, you know. Imagine splitting it there. Splitting it there. Big screen there. And better chairs. And Agune Chibo can single-handedly make this happen. <laughs> you know, when some of us who are willing to invest in the church bring our millions, we deserve some respect in our pastor. Yes, of course. So you understand when I mean I need that girl. I don't really understand. Pastor, why ask me this question now? Eh? Why ask me this question? You understand now? If I was not a successful businessman, I would have been a successful pastor. Oh, yes, I think so. Oh, yes. We are in this kind of business. You know, I play on the intelligence of people to make money. You play on the intelligence of your congregation to make money. <laughs> it's business. Business. All you need to do is to see the right vision and pray the right prayers for the right people. And your time is wild. <laughs> Pastor, you are the second pastor in this church, isn't it? Yes. All you need to be the general overseer of your own job is to run this place one hundred percent business. You know, like I said, I want this girl. See the right visions. Pray for the right people, and your weekly part will increase. Wow! See, you are talking to a pastor who wants to be general overseer. That is if it's the wish of His Highness. Look, pastor, it is the wish of His Highness. Yes. Even the Bible said it. That he wishes above all things that we prosper. You know, it is only that you have not recognized that. Please. <laughs> Look, I am here to facilitate that you own a big church of your own. You are? Oh, yes. I, Agro Chibo, will single-handedly build you a very big church in one calendar year. Just imagine. Church of the Messiah and the synagogue and corporate limited. <laughs> Within one year, why? Hmm? And uh, all you need to do is to see the right session. Tell Grace that in one of your previous session with God, you saw it that Agni Chibu is her husband. Her husband? Wow. But he are married. So did uh, Solomon. 700 times for that matter. And he still had time for 300 conco. <laughs> what is the matter? This is <laughs> Charlie. Yes, my dear. Do you know when the pastor told me we are destined for each other? Yeah. I always laughed at his face. You see it? 
You of little faith. Huh? Well, I mean, how can a wealthy man like you just decide to pick up a girl like me and decide to marry her? I didn't decide it. It is heaven that decided for me. Yes, the Holy Spirit. <laughs> hey! I almost walked away from paradise. That is the foolishness of the little girls of nowadays. Yes, they go from one church to another looking for me. But no one comes straight on. They come around my way. <laughs> anyway, thank God I confided in my friend Choma. Confided in who? My friend, of course. In that case, may I meet her? Meet her? Why? Come on! Agu Lei Chemba is a generous man. I want to thank her for giving you good cancer. <laughs> <laughs> eh? And I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you something to give her. Before I finally meet with her. <laughs> Alright, she's my friend. She deserves it. Ah! To let her have a Ah! Come, Politio! Chief, chief. Ma kwomo kwe one pan. Chief, chief. Mama. Mama. I go me chief o. I jump mad o. Oh me di abado. Icha ni mi si se ni de na noa. Neko wasi asagi. Manajeta. Take Go. Go. Yes. And moreover, I have some meetings to attend to. Huh? I need a moment to myself. What is he spending the whole day? I have changed my mind. Or is a man not entitled to change his mind once in a while? Go and enjoy 50,000 naira. Or has any man given you 50,000 naira for a quack record? You're not just any man, you're going to be my husband. Enjoy what you have. Don't build too much on what you do not have yet. Huh? But, but darling! Wait. Agune Chibo. Please. Agune Chibo. I thought you were meant to spend the whole week. Okay. Give this to your friend. Hmm? Tell her to see me at her uh, earliest convenience. Okay? I see my good age, I'm good age, That's the father for you. Mom, stop. <laughs> Don't tell me not noticing that the uh, rolls in between nails, nibbles. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. See, my granddaughter has taken after me in the grandma. Oh. Okay, it's a big way. Just, just, just imagine how how the boss are looking. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when are we naming her? Oh, okay, why have you done that? Well, that's if you don't mind, Genevieve. Jenny for sure. Fred, that's if you don't mind my infringing. <sighs> to Jenny. Yeah. <laughs> Baby girl, okay. Rose, you better come to this child. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hi, 
I know when you make supersonic progress in your place of work, jealousy sets in. Jealousy? Sure. Among your peers and your working colleagues. Oh, that? Exactly. And you must take that seriously. You must be very careful. Thank you very much. I will. Okay? Two more promotions. I'll become a manager. Hmm? At the rate at which my bank is expanding, I am most likely going to become a branch manager. Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> mm, honey, that's so glad thing to hear. But you must take it seriously. I mean, you have to be very careful. I sure will, sweetie. I'm coming from you. <laughs> Jenny's a year now. We like nurse her to her husband's house. Who told you we're not going to make another baby? Come on, Fred. You don't want me to become a complete housewife, do you? Listen, Rose. I like it the way we are. Okay? Honey, I'm not. I mean, I'm hiding I'm, I'm away at home. You're not. Jenny is enough to keep you crazy, okay? I'll provide all the excitement. Honey, she's driving me crazy. Certainly not, Jenny. Okay? And I hope you're not looking at me getting the house help. Why? The inconveniences and things I hear about them. Honey, honey, what have you learned? They're all the same. Rose, keep my home intact. That's all I ask from you. Honey, things are getting worse these days. You know, both parents do the hunting. Take care of my home and I'll do the hunting. Honey, but I want to help. Thanks all the same for wanting to help. But I want you to sit back at home. Rose, I want the best for Jenny. 
I want you to be around her. Nurse her. You know, send to her. Teach her. Teach her all she needs to know, you know. All she needs to grow into an intelligent young girl. Things no nanny or making can teach her. Alright? And once you do that perfectly well, one time I'll go overdrive so that I can provide for the family. I can. So just sit back and right help. Alright? Do I agree at that? Okay. Come on. So I Come on. I agree with you that it is not good for a young girl like you to sit down at home without doing anything. Okay? Ma, well, thank you for understanding. Thank you. Uh, look, but you should remember that it is love. He loves you very much, eh? That's why he says you should sit down at home and look after the other angel, my granddaughter. Eh? You know you're an angel yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so talk, you can sit down at home and take care of home for you. Mama, I know, I know, I need But I don't want to end up like my mother. How? Oh. You know, that was exactly what my father did. Hmm. Today she doesn't know one bit of what she studied in school. Hmm. I mean, we go to school to learn and impact knowledge to people around us. Hmm. I told you I am going to talk to friends. Yeah. I want you to lose that frown. Smile. Please smile. Eh? I'm, uh, I'm smiling, but I don't, I don't want to be staying in this house alone. It's too big, you know? Because I'm tired of staying in this house. You're smiling now. Go, go. Go, stop being okay. Thank you. Okay, man. Oh, I was actually looking out for you. Uh, Fred, I'm the other living room. Quite some time. How are you? Very well, sir. So how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. So that's what? Very well, sir. How is my daughter and granddaughter? Oh, your daughter is doing wonderfully well. I see. Your granddaughter is going through something else. <laughs> well, everything in the house, she has turned upside down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, this is their curiosity age. They're just like the mother at that age. <laughs> <laughs> so what? whether she wants to become a banker? <laughs> you can say that again, sir. You're welcome. Thank you very so, much. So, what am I offering you? Uh, nothing. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And um, how is the banking industry doing? Hectic as usual, but we thank God. I see. We thank God. Just like the boy you said rolling, I have now grown to become one of the branch managers in my bank. You have? Yes. That's splendid. In three years, that's why I called you a formidable young man. <laughs> I see, that's interesting. <laughs> we thank God. Yes. Uh, so, let me just go straight away to um, one of the reasons why I'm here. I don't know what life would have been for me without you. It's uh, God's doing. Not even my biological father could have done as much as you've done for me. Oh, come on, friend, don't insult your father. I don't mean to, sir. Well, the other reason why I came is to let you know that I'm all set. Like I told you three years ago from my traditional way. You are? Yes, then. Good. Well, it is not compulsory that you must do it. Um, the most important thing in the sight of God has been performed. And I personally don't believe in the wasting of money. Yes, I know. At the same time, man has to be satisfied as well. And I don't consider it a waste of money. Well, if you think you don't withstand the, the rigors, well, I can, sir. Okay. So I don't know um, if uh, I can come over at your convenience and uh, pick up the list of what your customer demands. Never mind that cock a doddle do. Prepare as much as you're able uh, to perform and come over. There is nothing like any list to worry about from me. 
love you. Another of your gesture. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. And um, when is it coming up? I'm actually looking at September. In four months' time? Yes, Daddy. I see. Uh, that means I'll communicate my wife. Uh, I'm sure she'll be thrilled. You know women. You know she women. has every reason to be thrilled. <laughs> the both of you are, uh, has been most splendid to me. You don't have to mention it always. I think it's God that is doing everything. So how's my baby girl doing in school? Beautifully well. Oh, that's my girl. <laughs> Um, honey, don't you think it's high time I found something doing? Again? I thought we were over with this. Oh, I know, but you know, Jimmy has second school. But I told you that you were going to sit back at home and mess all my children. Didn't I tell you that? But now that another has refused to come. Stop! Moose, just stop! We saw for the original after morning mass on Monday, didn't we? Um, it, uh, well, Didn't we? We did. So, what did the council? Um, wait on the Lord. I'm asking you, what did Father Reginald council? That we should wait on the Lord. So, why are you being impatient? Honey, uh, well, I'm sorry. You know, but I'm just tired of staying at home doing nothing. Now you listen to me. I buy you enough books. Enough films to keep you busy. Except you do not want to. Can I ask you a question? I'm listening. Why do you vehemently resist my intentions to work? Because I'm capable of taking care of us. I am capable of providing for us. I am capable of fending for us. I'm capable of meeting up all our needs. That's why if you want to know. I just pray that you don't regret this. Or rather, we don't end up regretting this. Sorry to disturb you, sir. It's okay. Sir, it concerns the upward review of salary in this company. What about it? Sir, the arrangement was so scanty. For instance, my name was not shortlisted. Some junior staff in this company earn more than I do. So I said I have to come and discuss this with you. Let me ask How long has you worked at this company? Sir, almost 15 months now. 15 months? Yes, sir. You mean you have been working here for 15 months? And my unfortunate kid does not know who you are? Hey! Woman, you have broken the code. You want to come and discuss it with me? Okay, come. I should come there. Oh, yes. Am I a shrine? Hmm? Sir, are you alright? You know, so, it is you who wants to learn Get your own way. What do you mean, sir? Oh, okay, boy, okay. eh? Look, it is that thing that we do that bring high blood pressure down. <laughs> it is usually supplied to us by pretty ladies like you. <laughs> Sir, please. I'm a married woman. Ha. And please don't go further than this. You have five minutes of work. And your salary will be boom. And you does not have to be married. You can go and think about it back home. <laughs> Sir, is it what it takes to work in this company? Yes, it is what it takes to work in any most places nowadays. Look, you have what I don't have, and I have what you want. So give me what you have, and I will give you what you want. Eh? Are you the only married woman I can go with? I say. <laughs> Sir, please, let my salary remain as it is. Mm -hmm. But I want to tell you I'm going to be screening soon. Yes, and I will fire some people and retain some. Sir, please, if you want to fire me because I'm refusing extramarital affairs with you, you can go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. But please, enough is enough. Eh? You can excuse me now. Thank you. Who knows even if you can use this your back house or what? 
No going back. Yes. And then, now listen to me. And listen very well. I'm not here to butter words with you. Whether you like it or not, I'm going to become the next Igwe. Bam! Whether I like it or not. Bam! <laughs> That's what I said. And I had it water in my mouth when I said so. Okay. You are so foolish that you talk with your mouth without the knowledge of your head. You should have known by now that the position of Igwe or the clown is not meant for senseless heads like that of yours. And I know that. Shut up! I say shut up! You suddenly become so proud and arrogant. Mm -hmm. Ask him oh. my position. Ask him. Oh. The lady grave is barely six months old in the grave. And you are stirring up this replacement saga. What is wrong with you? Oh. Oh. Daniel, it is my title. Look at you. It is my title. What's wrong did Daniel do? Please ask him. Huh? Please ask him. Suit yourselves. Suit yourselves. You people can say anything you want to say. All I know is that Nzeduru is humble and most qualified. To be the next Igwe. Period. Thank you. Look at who is talking. Thank you. Look at who is talking. Eh? What do you know about our country? You who spent your entire life in the mouth. Eh? What do you have to show for it? You come here to talk about country. What do you know about it? I don't even know who invited you in the first place. Why did they sack you from the police at the first place? I retired. Who? Oh, you think we don't know the offense you committed? You, you, you want to be the Igwe? Nonsense. Listen. Good dear, let me tell you. If you like right to hell or heaven, I have been endorsed as the next Igwe, and I'm going to become the Igwe of this country. <laughs> <Yeah>, man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't go in back. Anna. We shall see nothing. We shall see the ex-police criminal Aye. to become the Igwe of this land. Ubano. While I am here. The cultural group, yes. <laughs> the chief in council for many years. And you know that I'm interested in the throne. You know it. Yes. Good. That's where chief in the council okay. does not let's go. Let's go. go. Come, let's go. Let's go. Chief. I am man. Man, man. Okay. 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 Yeah. Bad people. I'm a royal prince. Okay. You can okay. go to hell. You don't need your presence. We fell down. Nonsense. Um, don't mind that. Huh? Just go to Asa, the chief priest. Give him one or two bottles of water. Snaps over the offer to you. Chicken, huh? Is it up, yeah? Yes. As soon as I handle the offer, automatically I'll leave it. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. I shall do that. Leave it! Ah! 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 I wanted to rejoice about you. Uh, Why? And there was enough rain? Of course. The rain starts too early and most of us went to the farm to cultivate. Even though the same rain brought the flood that swept away most of the planted crops. That is life for you, Mama. Sometimes uh, blessings come to the school ears. What can be? You didn't let anyone know. Yes, Mama. You know, it's not as if I plan to come back. Until the need arose for me to develop that my plot of land at uh, Anand's uh, junction. Mm. You know, I told you I want to build a fuel station there. Mm. So good of you. But. But. But what? Back in here. Look at me very well. How old would you want me to be before you give me grandchildren? Mama, you are also. What about it, Tell me how long to wait. Even, what do you need this guy to do for? What kind of question is that? Ah, I want to know now. Okay. Let's see. 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 
with all these beautiful things, all these good, good things that I've provided for you. Not that kind of care. Eh? Every parent wishes to carry his or her grandchild. Play with them. We sound feeble. Can't get more gadiche. Okay, okay. Okay, you have yours. When? How about mama? Huh. <sighs> okay. Where is your wife? Mama, how many times will you ask me this question? I say she has traveled abroad. Obodo Ibo. What is she doing in Obodo Ibo? I say she went for holidays, summer holiday. Why is she running away from her matrimonial duties? Running away? Yes. Did you see her now? If we get her back, how would you make her pregnant? By post. Mama, but it's your own time. You allow God to give you your child at His own time. In the morning, it's easy. My own be different. Not when the woman runs away from the husband. Children come through night of close relationship. Eh? Okay, Mama, hey. It's not as if I'm not trying. Then try harder. What do you do with Bring her home and give me a grandchild. If she's not capable, then find another woman. Mama! Have you forgotten we're a Christian family? Mm. One man, one wife. I know. I know. But I need a grandchild. I need a grandchild. What keep you? Don't let me regret having you as my only child. Mama, you won't regret it now. Mm? I'll give you your own grandchildren. Eh? I'll give you 12. Even 24. Are you the children? You're welcome. Now. Now. So how was your trip back from Lagos? Well, thank God. Uh, what is it that I'm hearing? That you people want to kill yourselves over the Ingo's position? Ah, uh, I'm going to kill you. In fact, that is exactly why I am here. Uh, yes, accept this little thing and help me out. Go sit down. Guru, sit down. Hmm? So you want to be Igbo? Igbo! I'm sorry I didn't tell you before now. Not that I want to ignore your weakness. No. So you know. Of course I knew. But you just did. No, not exactly that. Not exactly so. I was waiting to know my opponent. So that I can now come out in full. And I have known him. He's on it. On it, on it, on it. Hey, son. That's no entity. Who came back from a river last year? It was a policeman. Agune Chibo. Do you know that that man has been using his influence to harass me up and down anywhere I go? Saying, eh, 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 no one. One of women can stop him. <laughs> yes! You mean Anna said no man? One of a woman can stop him? Yes! But, Adi, let me tell you, the elders have already endorsed me. But I know that without you, Nobody, nursing the ambition for the leadership will succeed. So you know, <laughs> of course yes. And do you know, and you are presenting Agune Chibo with snaps. You want Agune Chibo, Arusiego, to do this. Don't you have a parcel of land? Eh? I must near the road. A land near the road. Look at your face. It's looting all over your face. You can never rule this community. See? Don't say that. Don't say that.
don't say that. Just tell me what else do I give you? That's all. I told you. I know you come from a family of people without being brave. Overall. Yes! Eh? No wonder your father chose of all the places to die. Kokoyan farm. Kokoyan farm meant for women. That is where your father chose to die. Agumichi, I am your elder. You have just insulted me. You sit down. Ana Agune is your national party. I tell you the truth and you say it's insult. Sit down. Don't you know that when you become the Igwe, you will have power to gather people's land? Eh? Yes. This one plot that actually you from will mean nothing to you. Use your brain. I will think about that. I will think about it. You have to do more. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Aha! Igwe! Agule Chimo government! Agumo Wari Igwe! Tua! 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 Bring down this gate. Bring down the gate. I said knock on the gate, don't ask me questions. Who pay you to go down my gate? I'm going to let you. Anya! I'm going to let you. Anya! I have come to greet you. Since you are the only one in Ogun, who does not know that uh, Agun Echiwo, Alu Siego is in town since yesterday? Oh yes, I have come to pay homage. After all, you cannot trace your way to my house. Oh no, Chief, it's not true. See, I heard that you were around. But I've been tied by these endless meetings with elders. Meeting, meeting, meeting. Meetings with the elders? For what? Oh, haven't heard. The elders have endorsed me as the next TV. Uh -huh. They have. In that case, let me pay homage now. TV! <laughs> Not yet. In the next seven market days, I shall be responding to that thoughtful respect from you. Shut up! You yes, shut up! You go my foot. Me shut up! Yes, yeah, shut up! Shut up! Let me warn you. From this very minute, you should stop having those meetings with the others. I should stop having the meetings. Yes. Why? If I ever hear with my two naked ears again that you are still holding meetings with the others, I will teach you the power that goes before me. For your information, I have endorsed in Zedu as the next Igwe. If you know what is good for you, the next time you see him pass, you will lie flat and prostrate for the Igwe. Don't be serious. You can never be serious. Yes. <laughs> ah. Agune Chibo cannot be serious. Me, not serious. <laughs> okay. But you can't tell me. You do. Let's go. You are nothing. Absolutely nothing. to speak big, big English. So I will go straight to the point why I am not here. Hmm? Um, the reason why we have been celebrating is my endorsement of Nzedu as the next Igwe for Bangwa. Agunet Igwe. Oh yes, I heard that uh, Anya, that sacked policeman, 
is flexing his mother. I have never trusted a policeman in my life. And I cannot start now. Unwearable Jazwek. I don't know about you. Police? Uh, is it? The report reaching me is that you are in support of Anya. No, no. Myself. Upload no mail. That is. <laughs> Sacked police officer. <laughs> you see it? That is good. In that case, I need to go to You see, I will continue to support the affairs of this community and present you with such gifts more often. If Duru is installed the Igwe of Obama. Mm. In fact, Igwe already the Igwe. Igwe. And as usual, I will continue to support our community. But if you choose Anna in place of Odu, oh well and good. Well, 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 well. What I want to assure you is that I'm going to eat you, but we still be away. But I will withdraw all these gifts, and I will make this seat so hot and ungovernable for Anna. Yes, you can see how he has helped me now. Look at him, humble. You see how he served you? And I am guaranteeing that he will continue to serve you like this. When I left the Igwe of Oba. That is the promise I make now. That is what I'm saying. <laughs> Igwe! 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 Yes. Why did you invite me here? Where else could I have invited you? Next time, don't invite me here. Are you talking to me like that? Say whatever you invited me here for. Let me be on my way. Okay. What did you go to do at Wanko's house? Why didn't you come there to see things for yourself? Mm. Well, maybe you were not popular enough, or you were not relevant, or both, is it? Yes. I am surprised that that small boy, Mwanko, is tossing a dust like you about, as if you're a domestic animal. So you called me here to insult me? So you are one of the people who went there to endorse that nonentity Duru for Igwe. No, 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 no. Look at the way you are talking to me as if you mistake me for your servant. Do I look like your servant? Is it? So you went to one horse house to be bribed. Tell me. What exactly did he give you that I cannot double when I become the Igwe? Tell me. It's not surprising since people like you in the police invented the word bribe in the first place. Watch your mouth. Watch your word. Anyway, when next you have anything to discuss with me, look for a neutral ground. If you feel too big to come to my house. What? Is it? What has come over here? Monko 
doctor just called me now. She said that is in the hospital. Which hospital is that? Um, uh, Tinka was, um, Tinka and I am, yes. Listen, listen, listen. Don't panic, okay? Don't panic. If you get there and it is serious, okay? Transfer him immediately to St. Nicholas Hospital. Do you hear me? Okay, okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. What about mom? Where is she? Um, she actually went um, to church for the religion of Mary. Oh, sorry, I almost forgot. Well, it's alright. Pull yourself together, okay? God is in control, okay? But don't forget to call me, alright? Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. Good. Love you, eh? Love you too, love you too. Is it that bad? I've never seen it this bad before. <laughs> His blood pressure is pretty high. Mm -hmm. Let's transfer him to St. Nicholas. He has refused to be transferred. Why? I 
promise you that you're not going anywhere. You're not going to leave us. You're not going anywhere that you're not. Don't. 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 Like I said the other day at the graveside, I want all of us to take this tragic loss in our stride. Let us take solace in the fact that after this life, there is another. As far as I know him, he lived a just life, which is quite worthy of emulation. I just hope that we'll all be able to live by the very good examples that he showed us. I have no doubts whatsoever that he rests in the bosom of Abraham, our father in faith, in the presence of the Almighty God. So our only option is to fortify our hearts with that basic truth. Let us pray. You 
that spirit to sight us. Lord Jesus Christ, by dying you destroyed our death. By rising you restored our life. You will come again in glory. Father Almighty, once again we commit the soul of our dearly departed brother into thy hands. Grant him eternal rest, Father, and let perpetual light continue to shine on him. May his gentle soul rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
some money to push her uh, uh, underground. Oh, you're opening eye for me already. Ah, no. You have to sign for me. Let it not be the case of uh, all of these governors on the Godfather. Ah. You have not been restored. And you're opening your eye for me already. Ah, you have to sign your bed. I hope you have a signature. That is my boy. Daddy, well, I promised you something. I'm going to achieve it. Hey, man. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. Mm. Kai. You know if your husband Maxwell was still alive. Kai. Mm. Um. Kai. Don't see no more talk. Kai. Anyway, mm. you see, I was actually on my way back to work. Mm. Yeah. And I don't have uh, enough. But what do I do now? Mm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Why don't you send somebody to Lagos so that I can give you something substantial? Uh -huh. Oh yes. Uh -huh. Meanwhile, let me give you something for Chingong. <laughs> oh yes. Hey. I'm gonna achieve this, generous man. Eh? I'm gonna achieve. Yeah. Hundred thousand for Chingong. For me. Hey. Oh Lisa. Oh Lisa. Again. Thanks. Hundred thousand. <laughs> God will bless you abundantly. Amen. You always meet good things on your way. I know, I know. Uh -huh. And uh, also give whoever you are sending this money for transport. Okay, okay. okay. Ah, your pocket will never run. Amen. You always meet good things on your way. I will send Christian. You will send Christian? Yes, Christian, my first son. Ah. Come on. You want to send Christian to come and collect the huge sum of money for you? Yes, Christian is trustworthy. No I man, it looks like you people like to take this in this way. I don't. I'm, I'm you, I you am guys. talking of big money. Substantial money. Money the quantity. <laughs> don't you know it can tempt Christian to run away with it? Huh? Even a poor Christian. Ah. Oh, Joe. Huh? Oh, yes. Huh? And moreover, you know you can't trust him. After all, his father was a policeman. And usually, like father, like sons. Uh, I'm confused. I don't know what to do again. Do you know? Thank you, Ify. Ify. Oh, yes. Ify is small. It's a little girl. Ify might miss her way. Nothing she has will. never been to Lagos before. Nothing will happen to her. All you need to do is to give her an address she's going to in Lagos. And uh, the money I gave you, nothing will happen to her. Mdu. Give me my card now. Yes. Uh -huh. This is my card. Eh? That is my address there. Just give you free this card. And that money that I gave you. Nothing will happen to her. All right. Ah, my In our shiny sequel. In our shiny sequel. Chief, you don't come home. <laughs> Different, different sizes. Some size eight. So, so we are moving with their left leg. So we are moving with their right leg. Chief, good day, sir. Yes. Chief, I came as your director, Chief. That is why you are sitting down. Without my telling you to do so. Sorry, Chief. Eh? Sorry. Look at this woman. Sorry, Chief. This poor man. I'm sorry. Later now, you want me to offer you a drink? Ah, no, no, chief. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, no, no. As if you know that this drink will turn poison once you drink it and send you to the mortuary. Poor man. Is it not me now that poor men like you drink? Hmm? Oh. That's when a chibo do not drink me now. I don't want drink. 
So what do you want? You, Chief. You told me to come. For what? You promised me my children's school fees. My children's school fees? Thank you. What children? By the way, what do you do for education? I'm a Taiwan tapper. Taiwan tapper. How many children do you have? Only seven. Seven and you call it only. You see? Hmm? I can see that you are tapping one with your third leg. Third leg? Look at you. No, Chief. I use my hands. <laughs> third leg is that thing between your two legs. Yes, or four big. You have seven children. How what is their age? Uh, the oldest is 15 years. Why the youngest is two years? Uh, how many of them are girls? Only one, the youngest. Ah! Sorry for you. You are really in trouble. You are in serious, serious trouble. You know poor men like you. Pray and hope for men to use their daughter. And give them one. Oh yes. But look at you now. Your own daughter is only two years old. Can't you see that your salvation is very far away? Poor church man. I saw one children. Yeah, I want that. I'm no fear. So how many of these your children now do you want me to give you school fees for? Chief, any amount. Any amount. I mean, as much as you can afford, Chief. As much as you can afford. When you were jumping up and down your wife in the night, did you invite me? Huh? Now you want me to inherit the product of your own self-destruction. Shut up! You to give this man 2,000. By the way, but tell me, what do you think of me? I don't understand you. you. You understand? What are people talking about me? How do they see me? They see you as the Messiah. Even the little children. Chibo <laughs> Messiah. Aguna Chibo Messiah. Dua! 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 You give this man 50,000 let him go. Yes, I'm gonna chip. Yes, I'm gonna chip. Yes, yes, yes. If you want, I'll have seven more children. Chief, Chief, thank you. Chief, thank you. <laughs> feel it, feel it, feel it. 50,000. Hey! Chief, thank you. Thank you, Chief. Hey! 50,000. Thank you, Chief. Hey! 50,000. Hey! Chief, thank you. Hey! Hey! Ah! I'm going to achieve my desire. Thank you. I'm going to achieve my desire. You are trying to hey. have a good job. Poor oh, church rat. I'm going to achieve my desire. I'm going to achieve my government. Do it, do it, do it. On my tulip plane, I'm going to achieve my desire. Chai! And Jenny. Oh, they just stood wonderfully well. That's good. I came around to see how you are doing. As you can see, I am coping. <laughs> I can see. Do I get you something to drink or eat? No, that would be necessary. Are you sure? Thank you for your interest. You're welcome. You see, uh, Rose and I have been particularly worried for you. You know, since Daddy's death, 
we felt you'll be feeling somewhat lonely. And uh, it'd be nice to get you a house help to help out with the house chores and some duties in and around the house. That is very thoughtful of you people. Lonely? Yes, I guess so. Sometimes I feel lonely. But you remember, when Daddy was around, he used to do a lot of traveling, going on tours and everything. And I guess then I was practicing staying alone. So, you know, I, I'm coping. Or the condition that you get something that is worth all the strong. You can bet on that, okay? We will certainly get you one that you like. After all, we know the kind of lifestyle you, you live. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's all right. I'm sure Rose will be happy if I tell her. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. All right, Mommy, I have to run along. Already? Yes. <laughs> because if I don't, Jenny will uh, start asking questions. Jenny is already asking questions? You don't know the kind of granddaughter you have. Oh, my God. She reminds me of Rose. That was how she is when she was young. <laughs> okay. All right, Mommy. It's okay. I'll see you all. Well. Okay. I have this book. What's that? So you mean you'll be traveling tomorrow? Oh yes. That is why I came for the prayers. You know my business is all over the world. <laughs> and I have to travel extensively. Yes, and that is why we need these prayers, you know. Oh yes, certainly. You know God is with you. Amen. Okay? Um. You must conduct your business according to his words. That is true. It's true. Um, Father, I have a little gift for you back there. You know? Because of the presence of those parishioners, I decided to give it to you here. <laughs> Just a little bit. One million naira? Boy! <laughs> It's just a little token, you know. You can use it for innovation work. You can even use it to buy musical equipment for the youth. Or even to take care of this young body. You know you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> well, you know I'm new here, so uh, everything appears in order. So I don't think I'll be needing such a so. uh, Keep it till you need it. You never can tell, you know. <laughs> well, if you insist, eh? I insist. Uh, so the prayers. I'm in a purpose, it feels, it spirit is empty. Amen. Can you know? Thank you, Father. <laughs> Oh, oh, how are you? Go back from Good. 
I was listening to them. Good. So tell me, what did your teacher teach you in lesson today? English. Language? Okay. Um, I want you to make a sentence with apple for daddy. This is my apple. This is your apple. <laughs> Look at you. It's good. Have you been giving her vitamin C? Can you see? Yes, I have. What is wrong with her? It's okay. Okay. Alright, sweetheart. You go back to your room. Hmm? Change your clothes. And daddy will come with you there, okay? Thank okay. you. Come back. Okay. And don't forget to change your clothes, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. Honey, was it all in that man? Your husband is heading for a crash. God forbid, huh? God forbid! Honey. It will take only the intervention of God to save your husband from complete ruin and total disgrace. Honey, honey, tell me. What really happened? You can't believe it. Right under my nose. A fraud of 20 million naira was successfully perpetrated. What? I mean, how did it happen? Nobody knows yet. And you know, the bank computer is in line. Jesus. As for now, I've been suspended. While the analysis go on, and in 48 hours, the investigation will begin. Why me? Eh? Why me? Yes, um, honey, have you contacted Mr. Iwuchuku? I did. But well, he didn't sound friendly at all. That I can understand, you know, since my mentor, your father, is no more. This can't be true. Oh, baby, Oh, baby, I'm going to go. 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 I'